Hi, first grade. Today is Friday, May 8th, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different in math. Usually on Fridays we take a quiz or maybe we have a lesson. Well, from now on, on Fridays, we're going to go over some of the work that we've done this week and it's going to be your catch up day. So if you think that there might have been a lesson that you didn't get to maybe on Tuesday if you were really busy or you want to try out some more science lessons or writing lessons, then today's the day that you can use that time to do so and really get ready for the weekend. So I wanted to go through the worksheet on Google Forms that you guys did on Wednesday and wow, was I impressed. As I've said before, this clock stuff is second grade work. Telling time to the minute is really tricky and you guys have really just blown it out of the water. I mean, I am so proud of you. I showed Gumbo what you guys did and he basically just fell on the floor. He was like, ruff, 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 ruff. I was like, I know, super impressive, extremely great. They're definitely ready for second grade. Let's take a look at the quiz. So this is what you guys see. This is the worksheet you guys did on Wednesday, time to the minute. So we've got number one, let's scroll down here, number two, three, four, five, and six. So, there's my alarm. Now if I go to responses, the first thing I want to show you is that 116 people did this worksheet. 116. Last week, only 92 did this worksheet. That means that almost 30 extra students did this worksheet and I am so, so proud of you, first of all. So if you did this worksheet, give yourselves a pat, pat, pat on the back, back, back for a job, a well, a done. Uh-huh, for a job, a well, a done. Uh-huh, now let's get, let's get cracking here. So if you look at this bar graph, the number six right here means that um, you've gotten all six correct. So we see a lot of people got all six correct. So the most people got all six correct. Now I wanna to scroll to the questions that you guys did the best job on. I want you to look at number two. Look at how many people got number two right, number three, number four, and number five. So that means that we did a really good job on all number two, three, four, and five questions. So let's look back here and see which those questions were. Ooh, two, three, four, and five. So this is number two. And I see that almost everybody got this right halfway between the 9 and the 10. It's got to be the ninth hour. So I know it's either 9.30 or 9.40. And then I can count by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 9, 40. Awesome. Looks like most people got that right. Now, there were two questions that were a little bit tricky. And we're going to go through one of them. So this is the first question that was a little bit tricky. Um, and most people got it right, but some people got the hour wrong. You see how 20 people responded that it was 7.48 for question number one. And I could kind of see that because the hour is closer to the seven. But remember, if the hour hand is in between two numbers, we go with the smaller number. That's right. So which is smaller, six or seven? Mm -hmm. 6 is smaller. So it was 648. So for my friends who made a good mistake there, these people here, these 20 people, just remember that next time. Now the one that I want to go over is this last one right here. 28 people got the hour wrong for this one. And this was the exact same tricky mistake that we made on last week's quiz. So I want to just go over it one more time to remind you about this hour. I mean, it could really be tricky. So let's go to the question first, and then I'm going to pull out my awesome clock. I'm going to pull out my clock online. So I see here that my hour is in between the 12 and the 1, although it does look like it's touching the 1. It hasn't passed it yet. Remember, if my hour hand is in between these two numbers, we would go with this one, the 12. And this is the only exception to the smaller number rule because if it's in between the 12 and the 1, it's still the 12th hour. So let me pull out a clock to show you guys. All right, we've got our clock here. Right now it's showing 6 o'clock. And I want to only move my minute hand around. And I know that it was in between the 12 and the 1. So I'm going to keep on going around and around and around until I hit 12 o'clock. And I can see right here that it's showing... Show it. 
oh, here we go, 12 o'clock, just like that. Now, if I go around here, look at my hour hand. Look at where my hour hand is. It's almost touching the one, but has it made the first hour yet? No, it hasn't. So if I go all the way to here, I can still see that it's almost touching the one, but look at that pointer. It hasn't quite passed it, just like right here. The pointer hasn't quite passed it, so it's still the 12th hour, and your answer was 1256. Remember, guys, use this Friday to make up any work that you might need to do. Maybe you need some extra stuff on ST Math. Maybe you need to get your Alexia units up. Whatever you need to do, I trust you, and I am so proud of the hard work that you've done this week. Have a good day.